in my never ending pursuit to find the coolest motor coaches in the world, we found a gem today. This coach has the most living space I've seen in any motor coach ever. I'm really excited to show you this 2022 Newell coach. I'm gonna introduce you to the owners of this coach. We're gonna ask them why they chose a Newell coach. Let's go see if we can't find the owners of this coach and ask them more about it and take a look inside of this beautiful machine. Hey, Scott and Terry, how are you guys hey, doing today? Good to see you, Hi, Andrew. we're great. We're glad to have you here. Well, it's an honor to be here. What a beautiful coach. Thank you. Thank you. The inside of this coach is looking a lot different from the outside. You want to show the folks on YouTube your coach today? Sure, I'll let Terry take care of this. Night and day. That's what we like to call it. <laughs> Absolutely. The paint scheme on this coach is unlike anything I've ever seen. Okay. So is the interior. What's the story here? Well, I, I think I had the most influence on the exterior, and Terry, along with Amber of Newell, uh, really produced this interior, and I really didn't, in a way, see it until we took delivery, and I was just completely blown away by this. It's so warm and welcoming and inviting. Now, on the exterior, I really had a vision for uh, really a black coach. I like a black car, a black motorcycle but I wanted the wisp of smoke on the side, and we were actually uh, Ryan Lauk's first customer when he, when he went to Newell, and we had a great time working with Ryan. Uh, we came up with this scheme, worked on it for several weeks, and they came up with the graphics, the paint team, pulled it off wonderfully and I'm super pleased with it. I really like what you did. Yeah. Now Scott, you yeah. were kind of in charge of the outside and I Terry, had nothing to do with the inside. Terry, this <laughs> is all you're doing. Job. You did a great <laughs> job. What uh, What's going on in here, ma'am? Thank you so much. Um, I worked with Amber at, at Newell and she was a dream to work with. I just love the way it turned out. I kind of wanted something light. I wanted something a little different than some of the other coaches that I have seen that have uh, you know more of a darker wood feel which is really beautiful but for us i wanted a lighter maybe almost you'd call it a coastal feel and so we just planned the whole thing out and made it lighter with some touches of blue and some touches of wood and so that's that's kind of how we planned it out this piece right here this cable um is real wood and i think that was one of the, the first ones that they've done that's real wood it's walnut wow and um so that's a kind of a nice touch and it warms up the the lighter color and it'll give some warmth yeah so. broke it up a little well you and amber did a great job <laughs> now scott you were just yeah. telling me that this is the largest slide outs that was whoa, whoa, how, okay. how did you All work right. that out well when terry and i decided to essentially go full time we're out about eight to ten months a year in in our coach visiting children in three different states so uh, we wanted to be very comfortable. So when we started working with Newell, James Netherly, the, the principal design uh, executive there, said, okay, what do you want in your coach? And then we'll kind of build it around the slides. I said, James, I said, I actually want to do this differently. I said, I want to have the maximum amount of slides that a Newell can handle, length, depth, width, and then Terry and I will fill that space. And he laughed and so that's what we have. This is the most uh, available space in slides that you can get with a Newell. And we are thrilled with it because when you walk in, of course the, the Newell is known for its interior height and with these amazing windows that you see here, uh, we don't feel like we're in a motorhome. I feel like we're in a small condo or something like that. We're just super comfortable. We're never feeling really tight uh, and constrained in here. We're very comfortable staying here for months on end. And one of the touches with these larger windows is also Amber and I decided to put a mirror up here above the window so it, it even makes the window almost feel a little bit bigger. Yeah, even taller. yeah I didn't even notice that yeah. until you said it. Yeah. Some cool features. But yeah, and it just is so nice and light and then those lights Oh, I'm seeing these that's, lights that's here. Yeah, right. that's those lights. That oh, you're very uh, cool. So I thought that was on yeah. the balance. Uh -huh. And something about the whole design process uh, that I found really interesting is literally from the time that door opens until you get to the very back of the coach, the customer is picking out every finish uh, and every surface. So we've got some carbon fiber up on the dash tile that you know you see when you come in. Terry and Amber picked that. You know the floor tile. 
uh, the chairs and even trying to tie in the wood mm -hmm. with the wood with the wood. You know, mm -hmm. just that oh, yeah. little touch that Terry and Amber did, I think is just super neat. Yeah, now what caused you, you've got a floor plan with the two recliners over here and a good sized sofa over here. What caused you to choose this particular floor plan? Well, let me say what it's not. Uh, even though we have six grandchildren with one on the way, <laughs> we decided for us not to carry a bunch of grandkids. And we just figured if we have the grandkids with us, we'll put them down on a pallet or something. So or we'll, we'll, we'll stay at a, um, at a campground that, that has, has cabins. Cab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's really, actually, we thought through that. We yeah. wanted it to be comfortable for us. So this idea of having two really nice recliners, of course, we have the, the TV. Yeah, the elevator comes up. Yeah, the elevator comes up, and, and that's where we'll watch TV at night. And uh, this is a very comfortable uh, sofa. It does come into a jackknife, but that's about it. Now, you were just sharing something with me as we were adjusting these air conditioning units. The, the air conditioning in the front of the coach is a little bit different than the coach you had before? It is. Uh, I had a production coach. I mean, it was nice. It was a Tiffin Zephyr. But uh, it had three air conditioning units. The Newell has four. And what uh, James Netherly from Newell pointed out to me, and it's just a wonderful feature and an engineering benefit here, is that they have one air conditioner dedicated to this front area. And it's basically a blade of air. Uh, the viewers can't feel it. I can. But there's a blade of air that comes down here. And in my old coach, the production coach, this area never got cool. You just couldn't keep up with it. There's too much heat coming in. But with this blade of air coming down uh, that Newell has and the newer coaches, uh, the coach always stays cool. Awesome. Oh, what's some of the other cool stuff in this okay. coach? Well, one of the things I wanted to do uh, was to keep the interior clean. Although Terry picked out all the designs and everything, I just wanted to minimize the number of switches and controls that we saw, make it look more like a, a regular residential living room. So I asked James, I said, can we hide these switches, you know, in a nice way, put them behind a little cabinet or something. He said, yeah, I've got just the spot for us. And this is the neat thing about working with Newell because this is a one-off. I, I think it's the only one, maybe somebody else has it, but this is where we put uh, the switches and the controls. And uh, basically everything is in there and we rarely use, you know, it's not like you're going in there seven or eight times a day. We use it in the morning, we use it at night, and then we just, tuck it away yeah I really like that how all of the lines are staying clean especially how bright uh, everything is in here usually we would see the red and blue lights on both Correct. of those panels and really beautiful of, something else I think this comes from I just love boats and there's really yeah. not any 90 degree angles right. either in nature or in boating it. yeah so we wanted to have as many uh, curve features yeah. even in the galley and even you know, that this has, has a, it's not, a radius you know, to it straight. instead yeah. of the instead of um, you know just a fixed 90 degree mm -hmm. angle and, and Newell cabinetry is just stunning I mean the fit and finish of these cabinets is just amazing uh, the detail I, I've worked with wood long enough to know quality when I see it and their cabinetry uh, folks are just top-notch I agree uh, the best of the best in the yeah. industry and are they, is that like a matte white finish or yes yeah. yeah I mean that's probably how you could describe it best yeah yeah, yeah and there, it has a little detail in there but yeah yeah just a little uh -huh. bit of wood grain in yep. there not yep. too much but yep. really just stunning now the floors uh it's uh -huh. the flat floors like we've talked about yes. before any inspiration on that or they're a little bit darker on the floors yeah well we wanted else. to bring bring in you know we've got the touches of darker so we wanted to bring in some darker and not just have it just all white so it just gives a little more um variety yeah absolutely and the ceiling that terry and amber came up with i i hadn't seen it of course or even the design of it until we actually took delivery and I looked up and I thought, it's so elegant. I, I just can't imagine improving upon this. Um, they did a great job. That's What's, kind of a cool back I, I don't know if I've ever seen this with that cool pattern and yeah. then almost and like then, a rustic mirror Yeah, it's look. kind of a mirrored, uh, antiqued mirror, you know, look. Yeah, I really, I like that. So it was fun. It was really fun picking everything out. But, but the fun thing is Amber knows where it's going. But you, as a customer, if you haven't had a lot of these, and we've had this one and one other, and, and the other one we did not get to pick anything, so you're not exactly sure where it's going, but you're just trusting her when she pulls it out and you say you like it, that it's going somewhere where, you know, it's all going to come together, and it does. It so. definitely did on this coach. And the hardware that they use with Newell is so neat because 
it just has a clean look. You mm -hmm. know, you have to basically, you know, it, it, there's not like a big handle here. It's uh, almost every nool that I've seen has this this feature, but it's just very elegant. You just can't. You don't see all of the hardware. Bunch hard of work. pulls, yeah. Something cool we did too, Andrew. We, um, it's already out. We went ahead and did this so that we could have some oh, additional yeah. counter space. So we, you know, they added that for us, and that oh, was that was cool. It's really nice. Oh. Now, can we see? In the, I know Newell does some really cool half baths. Yeah, can we show everyone absolutely. the half bath? Wow. Now a little bit more color in here than the rest of the coach yep, with just yep. that little bit of blue yep, but we brought the blue in i love the tiles uh, you. that you used Thank and you. the uh, bidet toilets yes. i know those have become very popular yes. what a beautiful painting here what's the story on the well, painting actually this is this is a really cool story because their artist patsy lowe um her signature is parks lowe um, she does, she is a Newell owner, but she also does art for coaches. And, um, and I didn't realize that we had opted for that option. So I never really even interacted with her. This is just something that Amber sent her fabrics and gave her a description, I guess, after working with Scott and I of our personality. And she came up with this. This is the first one she ever did that actually has stones and beads really? in it and shells it's wow. the first time she's done that and um we just love it and it just ties everything together just beautifully so and we're thrilled the, the bedroom as well yeah oh, cool yes yeah i'm looking forward and i'm not going to touch it but i want to give everybody a close-up <laughs> it's got the it's three-dimensional it's got relief yeah. in it yeah yeah i think it's called mixed media when you do all that Okay. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And then we want to make sure we mention this okay. because <laughs> oh, I am very proud of my husband. Yeah, what's and, going on there? Um, well, usually Newell likes to put two round vents there to uh, be able to access, you know, air to, into yeah. the into the half bath. Um, but on this white background, it just it really drew your eyes and almost looked like two eyes or something up there. So Scott said. Um, can't we just make it like a, a line? Yeah. Just a slot. And I think that'll be a lot less, you know, eye catching. And it is, it's awesome. And so we love it. That's another nice thing about Newell. You can come up with your own ideas. And, you know, a lot of things are customer driven. You can come up with these ideas and then they can say, we can do that. And That's it's what great. it's all about. Yeah. yeah. And all those little details yeah. all add up. So yeah. I can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Now, you did opt to have hardware do they always have hardware in the refrigerator? I think they do on the refrigerator. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. you're really you're tugging on it yeah. pretty good. Yeah. 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 But it's yep. that big GE, I mean the heavy duty mm -hmm. um, hinges and everything. It's just a wonderful system. Mm -hmm. So one of the bigger bedrooms in any motor coach with those huge slides. And this has something that I've never seen in any other Newell coach or motor coach uh, with the washer and dryer, but Look at how much space you guys have yeah. here. It looks like a little makeup area yep. over here. Yeah. What's going on? Makeup yeah. area with lighted makeup table. Nice. So and that yeah. bottom drawer has her uh, blow dryer and everything all yep. built in. The yep. Just like in just there. like they do it, you know. Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. It's all built in. Like you see in a lot of homes. Yeah. So I think this is the first time Newell has put a washer and dryer, you know, in this uh, in this area. In a and, slide. In a slide. Uh -huh. And it really has just opened up a lot of space. Uh, it takes it coach. out of the bathroom. And right. since we had more space because of the larger slides, we could we could put it in there again. Another null thing. Well, can you put it in the side? Well, we can sure. do that. <laughs> yeah. We love our windows, and we wanted to, to to keep this the window that's behind you. So one way to do that and still be able to watch TV is we opted for the projector, which is here. And uh, oh yeah. Basically, that just will project a really high quality mm -hmm. picture up against the the the, uh, the shade, the night shade. So you're basically looking at the regular TV, but you still have uh, the uh, the window. That is really cool. Now, is it the one that projects outside as well? It or? does. It can do that. Oh, we very had, cool. I did. I had it one time with a screensaver, uh, which is basically an aquarium. 
thing and all the grandkids looked at it and said that's just so cool <laughs> oh that's but cool we haven't actually set it up outside to watch a movie or anything. i i want to see that maybe tonight, tonight maybe you can put it on an aquarium tonight. i'll be back for that so we'll it tonight now now real quick i i've got to just spin the camera around just to show everyone i mean we're yeah, standing that, probably just a lot of close to 10 feet away yeah. here i mean we've got three adults in this bedroom and i mean uh -huh. it's just incredible the space this is probably the biggest rv bedroom that i have ever been in i just it's I, huge it is for us it's the biggest uh, one that it is for us and, and i think so that's far. what makes the coach really livable it's got plenty of uh, room on the side you know we tucked away uh the um uh the electrical cords and everything i just wanted those tucked away and um uh, we're, we're really happy. And, and a full king size bed. A yeah. lot of the RVs this have like a junior a, king. This is full an absolute king. full king size we're, bed. We're, we're doing this about eight months a year. Almost full time. Maybe some, some years more than that. Mm -hmm. So we really wanted it and needed it to have as much space as possible so that it's, you know, comfortable and enjoyable. So. And like I think almost every Newell, uh, it's got the pocket doors uh, that separate the bedroom uh, from the front salon and also uh, this has that beautiful mirror that they yeah. have here and mm -hmm. some more artwork the same artist mm -hmm. uh, did this and uh, we just love this this frame that Newell builds in this is all storage here uh, we've got plenty of storage there and then Terry and Amber did a great job with uh, with the uh, the master bath here wow double sinks which were important to us and we've got his and her closets on the back mine's on the left terry gets a little more room on the right and it's a wonderful shower there's one thing that uh we did as well with the shower that i think is a first yeah yeah yes. what's uh well it's that um i the wanted window. i wanted the window there. oh wow i've never I seen that. To yeah. open that i wanted you know to, to you know it gets a little tight in any motorhome back here yeah but the more natural light you have, the better off yeah. you are. And absolutely. so I said, James, can you put a, a window in there? He said, absolutely. And we're super pleased with it. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. And I love how they brought in the same flooring here, a little different floor here in the bathroom than the yep. rest of the coach. Yep. Yep. And then it's got that hidden, I can't even see the drain. No, oh, no. there it is. Great yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah. It took me like a few, I was looking for yeah. it, but uh, the hidden drain, yep. and then I like how they brought in the tile from that that was used on the floor of the yeah. other coach on the wall yeah. and then they even brought it back here behind mm -hmm. the toilet there's a heated towel bar yeah. another bidet toilet and you know newell has got the 120 volt you know the big water pumps so yes sir you can, it's so much different than the production coach that we had yeah right. uh, it was almost like a toy shower you know, you kind of help, yeah. but but here in the Newell, we can we don't even think about whether we're running the dishwasher or whether we're running the regular uh, clothes washer. You want to take a shower, you've got you know a ton of pressure, which is really just, nice. Just like nice. home. And then another auxiliary pump as it well. Does. It has that backup, need. the 12 volt backup. We haven't had to use it, but it's there if we ever needed it. Very cool. And then I've got to get everyone a close up on these sinks here. Such a cool style. I don't know if I've ever seen these this style of sink. Some kind of crackle finish that they did. <sighs> Absolutely yeah. stunning. You did a great job on specking this coach. Now I want to ask you, you know, you had a Tiffin before, right. you had a production coach before. Right. What caused you to choose a Newell over other coaches on the market? Well, the, the, the first hurdle we had to get through was just how much time are we going to spend on a coach? And uh, what our first production coach experience taught us over two years is that we love this lifestyle. You know, when we go out to Phoenix to visit our daughter, we have our home with us. When we go to Florida to visit our daughter and her husband, we have our home with us. And the same thing when we go back to Virginia Beach. So once we made the decision that we really like the lifestyle, we're gonna be in the coach maybe eight to 10 months a year, we wanted something where there was just, in all candor, a higher quality coach you know that that everything is just more robust they're put together so well the fit and finish is is uh, really strong and so then we were looking for the nicer coaches we first looked at oh well are there nicer production coaches that didn't seem to fit the bill and then then of course you're into into the customs perhaps a a bus conversion or of course our our preferred option which is the newell and we carefully considered both but it was actually one of your videos yeah, uh, with Mark Martin, <laughs> who is just a 
terrific guy and a great Newell customer, and of course a great driver, but you walked through the differences that, uh, that it caused him to go with the Newell, and now all of that resonated with me. The interior height is significantly uh, greater on the Newell. The horsepower and the torque is far superior in the Newell. And uh, just the ability... And there's still plenty of space in the bays. Yeah. There's still plenty. But we live here. We don't live in the bays. And, yeah. And the, and the bays on the, on the bus conversions, they're built to carry, I don't know, 51 or so passengers, however many it is, and all of their luggage. So you've got this massive amount of vertical space in there that you really can't take advantage of. Uh, I mean, they're, they're nice and they drive nice, but I tell you what, the ZF, the ZF suspension on this Newell is amazing. And to my knowledge, it is the only coach that has this active tag steering. So when I turn left, uh, the actual tag, it's not just free flowing like it was on the production coach. It is actually turning, the, 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 the rear tag turns right. And it gives us this amazing turning radius because a lot of people will think, well, gosh, Scott's put himself in a stuck situation. He can't make that turn. And sure, I can make that turn because you get used to what the coach can do between how sharp the front wheels turn plus this active uh, tag steering. It's, it's, it's amazing how, I guess, nimble it is or maneuverable it is. I mean, it's still a big 45 foot long coach and you gotta be thinking, but it is amazing where this coach can go uh, because of the way the suspension is set up. Uh, anything else that caused you to choose a new all over, over the other coaches or? I think the final uh, deciding factor was, of course, a plant visit. Yeah. You know, it's a major investment and you want to make sure that you're comfortable with, with who you're going to partner with. And uh, from the receptionist all the way through to the technicians, to, to the uh, men and women who are true craftsmen and women who are building the coach, the longevity of the people who work at Newell is really, you can just tell, they've been there I think an average of 18 years. They, they really know the product and importantly, they have this 1-800 number. I was going to say that. If yeah. you forgot, I was going to no, say that was a big you know, deal. I don't, there's no perfect coach. You know, from time to time, something's going to give. And if you're on a weekend on a Saturday, and for some reason, these amazing slides, reliable slides, but if something happened and I couldn't get in a slide on a weekend, that's never happened. But I could call the 800 number, and within 20 minutes, a technician who not only I mean, he understands slides, so they, they, they go ahead, they figure out what's, what you're asking for, and then they get the right technician who has the, the experience and the skill to walk you through uh, the fix over the phone. And uh, that's, a, that's a really cool service. It is a very cool service, and big or small. You know, a slide a is issue. a big thing, but, but it can be a smaller issue, that, but that's troublesome, that, and you know, you can, you can get them. So uh, the, uh, the factory visit uh, just gave us complete confidence that we were making the right investment. And I, I see it as an investment. Uh, it's allowed us to do some really neat things. To, it's allowed us to stay in Phoenix longer with our daughter. I think if we were staying at a hotel, oh, pick a number, seven to 10 days, maybe max, and you're going, we gotta get out of here. But yeah. We can park out there in Phoenix and, uh, and go see our, our daughter and her we husband. We have our home her, with us. We have our home with us. Yeah, now is there anything that you would change on this coach? Is there anything you don't like about this coach? Well, I'm, I'm super happy with it. That said, um, I am excited about the, the option uh, that may happen one day of building another one. So I am keeping a little list of things that I'd like to see on the next one. But I think we could keep this coach 10 or 15 years or longer and be super happy with it. If we have the pleasure of building a new one, uh, I'm always keeping my little list of things that I, that I do different. Yeah, now is there uh, any advice that you would have if someone's thinking about purchasing a new old coach? Any advice you'd have for anyone out there? Well, I know that, you know, even if you buy a used one, but within a certain number of years, you get a two-year factory warranty from Newell. I mean, from bumper to bumper, essentially. So my default position would be, of course, either new or used, but if you're gonna to go to the used route, which is a great, great option, I would go through Newell because you get the two-year warranty. And I think it's like, even if the washer and dryer break down, 
they're going to take care of that. And one thing about the Newell as compared to the bus conversions is you don't have to figure out is this a is this a chassis issue or is this you know the uh, the build out conversion issue. We don't have that. We can go to one true source, which is the factory, the, the, the men and women who built it, and they lived this Newell from, from really the frame up. And uh, I think that too, you're never put in that position of, well, no, go to the chassis guy, or no, that's a conversion issue. And we you have, have heard, that. We have heard that. that stories that that, that happens, and nobody Customers would really be middle. willing to take responsibility. But at Newell, they're, they're, they're the only person to <laughs> yeah. take responsibility. So I guess I'd wrap it up by saying, you know, even if you're just looking, it's a fascinating experience to see how they're put together, to go to the plant and just walk through, um, and, and you'll come out with a great appreciation for American craftsmanship and quality. Uh, the, the, the whole plant is, is virtually spotless, and uh, it's laid out wonderfully, and you can appreciate the different stations, like the cabinetry, the men and women who work there, they're dialed in. They're good. And they really care. They care about what they're doing, what they're building, and the people that they're building it for. And it's just, it's a really great family feeling. Very much so. Scott and Terry, I can't thank you enough for showing me and the folks on YouTube this amazing coach. Congratulations. Thank you. you did an absolutely fabulous job, the interior and exterior design. Can't thank you enough. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Well, thanks for tuning in. I mean, we've enjoyed watching uh, Andrew go from, I don't know, several thousand to over 100,000 subscribers. We're one of them. And his, his, his Andrew, your station, I mean, your channel actually had a, a real influence on us buying that Mark Martin video. So congratulations on, uh, to you. Greatly appreciate that. Can't thank you guys enough. I also sure. greatly appreciate all of you out there, and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.